My friends, please show us some support by going to the Shozy Store website and typing the name Plates to support your favorite YouTuber so that our channel gets some support and we are able to bring you even better reviews in the future. Namaskar my friends and today I'm back here with another Transformers video and today we will be talking about the top 5 Transformers figures that were produced in 2023 and I'll be talking to you about the ones that I have reviewed. I've not been able to review all the Transformers figures that were released in 2023. That's not possible for me. But I have reviewed quite a few of them and I'll be talking to you about them. Now, this is completely my personal opinion. My opinion about the top five of 2023 may vary from yours. So yeah, please don't mind. No hard feelings. There should not be any problems because this is completely my opinion. But before we get to the top five, and again, the top five aren't in any particular order they are just the top five there's no number one there's no number two they're just all very good and uh, you know all of them are smash hits in their own right but before we get to the top five we're going to first have a look at some of the honorable mentions and coming in first on our list of honorable mentions we have the yolo park amk series Optimus Prime from the Transformers Rise of the Beast movie. Well, the first thing is this is not an action figure. Well, not technically, it's a model kit. But this one has done so well in the market. Fans have loved it. And this is a very, very nice piece. It doesn't take much time to, for you to, you know, get him all together, you know, put him part by part and, you know, get him ready for you to articulate and play around with him. And yeah, for a model kit, he's painted quite well. He has quite the shelf presence. And uh, in my opinion, this was one of the best releases from Yolo Park. And a lot of people loved it. I personally really liked it a lot. He does have his flaws. He's not without flaws. But having said that, this was a very, very strong release by Yolo Park. And coming in next on the list is the Bawei TW1029 Revenge of the Fallen Megatron, the Studio Series 13. And this is a very, very solid release by Bawei. And Bawei once again shows us that a little bit of paint goes such a long way in making a good figure, a good mold look even better. And, you know, this is a perfect example. Uh, and let's not forget, he comes with, uh, you know, that extra head which adds so much of value. To this piece this was a very very strong release by Bawei so if you have not added this to your collection please go ahead and do so if you're a movie fan this is a must-have up next we have a wonderful release here by Hasbro this was the Rise of the Beast studio series 100 Bumblebee and this is in the list of honorable mentions because this is a very very solid release by Hasbro this is an amazing piece to add to the collection yes he does lack paint he does lack a little more details, but uh, having said that, he is fun to pose around, he's fun to play with, and the plastic quality on him is very, very good. The transformation is complex, and uh, you just get real value for your money. So this was a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. The Studio Series 100 Bumblebee, the best Bumblebee ever produced by Hasbro. And finally on the list, we have the Bawei 1028 Interstellar Pirates Spock. A KO of the Studio Series 56 Shockwave from Dark of the Moon. And now a lot of you must be surprised to see this on the honorable mention list. But uh, in my opinion, this is a very, very solid release. People who haven't got this piece should definitely add it to their collections, especially the ones who haven't ever been able to own these two, the Series 1, like myself. But having said that, this is a mold which has already been uh, produced by Hasbro, released by Hasbro, and uh, Bave have just taken it and have made it look even better. But at the end of the day, uh, we are looking for a little bit more when it comes to, you know, talking about the top five, and top five should have in my opinion, a lot more to offer. This one, in that regard, kind of fails because he doesn't have any accessories. Not that he needs it, but at the end of the day, this is just a slight rework of the original Studio Series mold. And uh, hence, I decided not to include him in the top five. But having said that, this is one hell of a figure. If you do not have him, please add him to your collection. You will not regret. 
So that about concludes our honorable mentions list. Now let us get to the top five and I've already mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is in no particular order. There is no rank one, two and three, but these are the top five and they are really, really good figures. So coming in first from the IDW universe from the legacy line, we have Darn. And uh, this is one of those pieces where you'll have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with. And the reason is because Tarn, although very well articulated, still suffers from some severe proportion issues. And, uh, you know, as you can see that he actually looks very thin from the side. But uh, still, this is a very, very solid release by Hasbro. Definitely one of the best figures released by Hasbro. And uh, I still feel that, uh, you know, people who are into toy photography will be able to pose him really well, take some very good shots. And as you can see here, I did take a photograph with him. And as you can see, he looks really, really good. So this is a very solid release. We have a Hasbro. The vehicle mode also looks pretty good. And if you haven't got this in your collection yet, you should go ahead and add him. Although he's very, very difficult to find because he was one of the hottest selling figures in 2023. So those of you who have done, a lot of congratulations to you. And those of you who don't, you should probably track him down. But it may cost you a pretty penny. And coming in hot, Next on the list, we have the Barbie Weapons Master. Now, you must be thinking, hey, the Barbie 1029 Megatron came with the upgrade kit installed. He did not make it to the top five. And Shockwave is also a mold that was reworked by Barbie. Then how is this guy in the top five list? And you're right, he is a slight rework and he does come with the upgrade kit. But having said that, look at the weapons that he comes with. Look at that head sculpt that he comes with. This is a much more accurate head sculpt uh, when you compare him to the movie that when he first appeared in. And with all these weapons, this is the ultimate iron hide that you want in your collection. He is a total combination of the first, the second and the third movie. And you cannot go wrong if you add him to your collection. People who have the original iron hide have gone ahead and just got him for the weapons. And that alone makes this guy one of the best releases of the year. More importantly, his arm cannons are very, very film accurate. So there you go. And coming in next on this list is the Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus. And I think a lot of you expected him to be on the list and why not? You know, most of the times we fans are very upset and angry with Hasbro because they just do not put in enough in their figures, in their releases. But here's the thing, when Hasbro wants to do something awesome, believe me, they do it. And this is one of those figures that is a prime example of when Hasbro wants to get things right, well, almost right, they can do it. And the reason I say almost right, because this figure does have a share of issues. But having said that, this is one of the best or probably the best release for Hasbro in this entire year when it comes to Transformers because this one is something that a lot of fans were after for a very long time. He does come with a lot of weapons, he has got some amazing gimmicks and more importantly this is the Ultra Magnus that you want in your collection. You do not need any other version of Ultra Magnus and this is one of those figures when you see him and if you're a Transformers collector you know you need him in your collection. This figure is actually that good. I can vouch for it. I have reviewed him. I have posed around with him. This is one of the best figures that Hasbro has produced in the last 15 years. He has an amazing shell presence and this one is definitely a must get. And coming in next and this one is an absolute no-brainer. We have the Yolo Park AMK series Optimus Primal model kit from the Transformers Rise of the Beast movie. And this is one hell of a piece. Again, this is not an action figure, this is a model kit, but I'm gonna go ahead and include him anyway because his wave made the Optimus Prime was in the honorable mention list. But this guy has been sculpted so well, made so well that it's an absolute must get as far as I'm concerned. This guy does have one problem though, he does not crunch forward, he does not bend forward, he does not have any ab articulation. And that's a bit of a bummer, but the looks, the paint, the form, the aesthetics, and more importantly his, those double bladed weapons really make him an absolute delight to have. And to add to that, 
He does have a wonderful shelf presence. He looks great in your collection. And now we finally have our last entry in the top five and we have the MDLX Megatron. That's right. I reviewed Megatron a few days back. I've already spoken volumes about this guy. And this is one of those figures. Yes, he does not transform. Yes, MDLX figures don't transform. But having said that, he is one of the best releases of the year. 3.0 have knocked it out of the park. This is by far the best release in the entire MDLX line. And you cannot go wrong with him once you add him to your collection. Is he perfect? No, he is not perfect. He has some problems with his proportion, which actually I forgot to mention in the review. But having said that, this is still one hell of a figure to get. He's amazing to pose. And once you do get him into a pose, he photographs really, really well. So if you still have an added him to your collection, I believe he's still available on Big Bad Toy Store. So you know, just check it out and other websites as well. So in case you can get him, go ahead and add him to your collection. Great shelf presence, great articulation, very decent amount of accessories. And that's pretty much all that you need to finally say, all hail Megatron. So guys, this was my top five figures from 2023, the ones that I've reviewed. This was completely my opinion. And like I mentioned earlier, this can completely differ from your opinion. Well, I would love to know in the comments what you think of this list and what is your top five list. So this about brings us to the end of the top five of 2023. I look forward to what 2024 has to offer. And I cannot wait to make the 2024 top five next year. And uh, I'm really looking forward to adding more amazing stuff to my collection. And of course, review them. A big thanks to Shozi Store for uh, helping me out with a number of these figures. Also, I'd like to thank the friends of the channel who have helped me out from time to time with these figures. I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you so much to all of you. And if you have liked this video, then do give us a like, comment, share and subscribe. And of course, we'll have more reviews coming for you. Till then, please take very good care of yourselves. Take very good care of your families. Enjoy your collection. And always remember, till all are one. Thank you so much for joining us today.